that. I don't even know why I'm picking this up. Okay, so today I am at Goodwill. Today is Sunday, so the only thrift store open is Goodwill. So I figured I'd go to my local one, take a tiny, tiny break, um, and be sure to follow us on TikTok. We started a account there. Um, my whole thought on that was try to get followers on TikTok and have them come over to YouTube and watch our videos. Um, one video already got over 200,000 views. I think that's considered viral on TikTok. Huh, I don't know. I'm going to go inside and see what we can find to resell. Okay, so I'm trying to think if I want this vase. I was looking it over. It's not signed. It looks like it'd be made in Italy for $8. Is that a tiny chip? Um, I think it's a paint chip. I think I'm going to get it. I like that with a floral design. Get that for $8. And then I found this asparagus tray. It's made in Portugal for $4.99. Alright, this aisle is clear. Oh, I see a pottery mug for $3.99. It's not signed. I like that. It's a good size and the um, nice green glaze. I'll do that for $3.99. Oh, it's a Starbucks mug. Oh, look at that. I like the flowers on it. Starbucks 2021 for $4. Um, I don't think I could get too much more for that. I have to leave it. Frenzy. Frenza. For a dollar. I um, kind of wish I had the saucer with it. It's a, oh, a salt lamp. We all need this to relax. I should carry it around with me. Oh, you could. <laughs> oh boy, I have a big one at home. I like this. Surprised it's not marked. It has um, three leaf clovers. That looks like three leaf clover. Let me see if this is Fastoria. Um, I think that's Indiana glass. It's not a bad price, $2. So I saw this pretty um, bird dish. I turn it over and it says Lennox. So I was like, um, let me look it up and just to make sure it is a collector's plate for $14.99 and some people have it listed for $12. So I'm gonna put that back. It doesn't hurt to look it up though. Let me see what that is. Oh, it's a Yankee Candle. Can I find the top to it? It's just yeah. a dish. It's a one serve teapot. 1 800 flowers. Oh, here's a fresh cart. Oh, look at these. They're made of resins. K's collection. $2 each. Maybe I should look these up. I normally don't pick up K's collection though. Look at that. Look at this dish. That's K's collection too. Have some yarn. Me and my mother. <laughs> Alright, what is that? That's a game. Chinese checkered. Huh, not too much. Let me see about this vase. Ooh, I like that. Oh, it's newer for $10. <laughs> I do like that. Almost looks like it'd be Raku. Eh, I don't even know why I'm picking this up. It's definitely um newer. Some wooden um, candlesticks. Seven dollars for the pair. Kind of has like a cherry wood stain, which I actually like that kind of stain. Look at this cute dog dish. Knolls. And these down here are for app baked apples, I believe. Um, Christian pottery. Something main. <laughs> How much are those? Six dollars each. I do like this wooden dish. It's wood. And it's signed. Dad. Okay, so I found this. This is a brass. Um, Jesus on the cross for $3.99. It looks like it'd be probably from 
1970s or 60s. Let me take a look at the box. I'm gonna get that for $3.99. It's in awesome condition. Put that in. So I met one of our viewers, Rose. She said it's okay that I film her. Um, she didn't want this wooden, carved wooden um, rabbit or bunny. It's very nice. So I was like, I'm gonna take it. It's carved wood for $4.99. Yeah. I feel like I'd make money off of it. Yeah. I think it's adorable. Anything like, I found like a hard to find game that oh. sells for like anywhere between 20 and like 35 bucks. I have so, Uno. And it's never been opened, so it's just kind of fun. Whoops. All right, I was just taking a quick look through some bags. Um, oh, this is a fanny pack. Track, Paris, London, New York. I'll get that from Michael. <laughs> what about this one? Um, it feels a little cheap. Now, uh, what about some of these dolls? <clears throat> this one, the heirloom. This one I was looking at. That looks like 1960s. How much is she? I kind of like her. $10. Um, I don't know, about 10 Let me see who made it. All right, it says a Fambi 1966. Um, I would say $10 is too much for that. She is kind of cool though. We have the Asian lady or girl. Look at the witch. I love it. Now, I wish it was closer to Halloween because I would probably pick those up for $10 each. It's a rocking chair. Trusco Bank. I'm curious what's in here. Wine glasses or a plaque? Ah, beer glasses. Um, I wonder if that's for Saratoga Racetrack. Saratoga Racetrack isn't too far from us. So in the booth, our um, case, we added these two cross-stitch um, pictures for 22 each. Oh, I love those. I know, right? Added this cute doggy, some salt and pepper shakers. The owl um, it has some chipping, the wooden tray. This is kind of cool, the Verizon Fenton Bell. Uh, what else? The mid-century modern spike ball sea urchin thingy <laughs> the um res restaurant wear mug um this one it's a good boy the cambridge um, what else we saw that raccoon pottery back there we had the milk bottles and the cheese shaker what else did we add the um franciscan desert rose um Jeanette glass, ice bucket in, three tumblers, six dollars each, and the ice bucket is 18. 18. I don't know if those are too popular. Yeah, it's coming along. We've been selling a lot of salt and pepper shakers. Um, we have to get more pricey items in here, though. We have a lot of lower price right now, except for... What about the Fenton? Oh, does it have a price? Oh. Yeah, it does. 55. Yeah. It's coming along. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I just want to show everybody a little haul of some items that we got at the Antique Mall. Um, while we were stocking, we figured we would shop around. Uh, make sure you go check it out. It's in Kasaki, New York, the Kasaki Antique Center. Um, and then after this, I'm going to show you some a few items that we'll be doing on our live sale with Avon Thrifty Rich on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay, let's start with this awesome pink set right here. Oh, that's kind of heavy. Yeah. This is not marked, but the candle the candles are these. This is Damariscata Pottery. Um, I paid $12, and can we guess how much that is worth? The bowl could be worth one to three hundred dollars, and the candlesticks, I'm not sure, or the candle holders, I'm not sure how much those would be worth, but definitely a lot more than 
um, $12. At first, when I first looked at it, I thought it was Mackenzie Child, um, but it's not. Damaris got a pottery. So I can't wait to list those. I can't find the same exact. It has nice pink, and this one has a tiny, tiny chip right there. Let's do the... Why not, let's do this. That looks like it's hand-painted. Now let's take a look at the bottom. Limoges, France. Um, it's definitely hand-painted. It has some chipping right here. They did a little repair. They put some color in there, and they did a pretty good job. And then the lid, it looks like it was burnt. That looks like a burn mark, right? Um, I still have to clean these. Okay, never mind. That wasn't burnt. It was just um, some dirt. <laughs> like, I just rubbed it off. <laughs> awesome. I thought there was more damage than what I thought. But paid $4 for that. I was like, I'm going to pay $4 for a Limoges France um, jar. Definitely for that. And then this paid $5. That's a whole... It's a Ikebana. Ikebana, you put flowers in there, water. I think you put... Yeah, you have to put water in. <laughs> but it's marked Hall on the bottom. It's a nice red maroon color. A lot of people like. Then I got this um, pottery piggy bank. Um, I mean, when you look at this, it looks like Italy. It looks like it'd be made in Italy, but it's not marked Italy. Um, 10, 16 maybe, and then B. I mean, I don't think it's Batosi or anything. Um, the eyes almost remind me that it might be made in Japan. But then the, the marks and then the detail around it does not. But I paid $5 for that, which I'm okay with that. And then Michael found this at the antique mall. Look at the glaze on that. Look at the handle. It has orange, green. Um, and then it's marked on the bottom, but I can't make it out. Let me turn it around. Yeah, I'm not sure what that says, but I love the glaze on it. Definitely has a mid-century vibe with the orange and green handles. I um, paid 4 or $5 for that. It's almost better than the thrift store sometimes. <laughs> All right, here are some few items that we're going to be doing on um, our sale with Avon Thrifty Rich. Um, oh, look at these. <sighs> look how stinking cute this is. Look at They're made out of shells. You have the um, little puppy dog made out of tiny shells. It's um, It looks like it's handmade. And then the owl is awesome. Look, it has the thread or string. Going around there. There's the back. Definitely mid-century looking. Um, we're going to do the Fenton Uranium or Glowing Glass. Fenton Swan. We're doing that in the sale. This Paperweight Millifiori. Oh, it does have a polished, um, semi-polished bottom. Um, we're doing the Ron Ray um, Bluebird of Happiness. And you get the small one with it. Look how cute the small one is. Um, and then this. I'm not sure who made it. I didn't really research. But it has the uh, um, feathers on top. It's a bunny with a butterfly. It's made, it's made out of resin. Also this pottery vase. Made by Paul, Paul Gordon. Does that say Paul? Gordon. Yeah, it has to be, but look at the detail on it. It's a nice, um, a little bit darker blue. But I like the white in between. I'm gonna do this Scentsy burner, wax burner. Um, the metal piece, it has a dragonfly and some flowers on it. This was originally sold separate. This is what it looks like underneath. So I'm doing that in the sale. I'm not sure if I'm going to do these. Um, this one has a repair on the ear, but it still has the googly eyes. And then this, you guys know this one is repaired. So if you think I should do these on a sale, let me know. Um, these are 
um, coasters made in Germany. We have these listed for a while. There, there is chipping around the edge on some of them. So I'm going to do those. Art class bud vase. I think that's a bud vase or it could be a oil diffuser. Um, but it is signed on the bottom. We're going to do that. The pottery oil diffuser with that beautiful glaze on there and that leaf design. That's signed by Gail. <laughs> We're also doing this Lucite trivet with a butterfly, a real butterfly inside and um, some leaves. We're going to do that. Okay, so this pink glass um, display hand. The um, Antique Mall had two more. They were uh, cobalt blue. So I think I'm going to go back and get them and do those on the sale. I'm not sure if I want to do this one. It's worth about 40 to 60 bucks. I'll have to see. Let me put the hand back up there. Ooh, don't fall over. Um, I might lower the price on the cloisonne. Hmm. I just listed this bronze owl with a gold detail on there. These, some of these, some people have these listed like fifty to sixty dollars. I think I listed mine for thirty. Oh, let's not forget the famous glassy baby. I want to show you guys more in detail. It's oh, um, it's stamped on the bottom. I even left the original sticker residue <laughs> but i can't i don't know if this is the color is seafoam green or someone has it listed as key lime green but i feel like key lime would be like a bright green like a neon green but i listed that for 110 dollars. i may lower it i'm not sure yet i almost thought about doing it as an auction um what else do we have pottery mug I might do on the sale. Oh, and this thing is fragile. I gotta put it somewhere. Let me take a look at this mug again. Oh yeah. I love this mug. Look at the glaze on it. I might do that on the sale. Let me put it down here. Okay, and I may do the Talavera wall um, candle sconces. I might do these. Uh, I don't think we have them listed on eBay, so I won't have to worry about taking it off eBay. All right, I think that is it for now. Um, if you guys see anything in our eBay store that you want us to do in the live sale, let us know. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye!